Look at it, it's really, really steamy. Got blow on it. <laughs> erased an eyebrow. The battle format is one that you guys are digging, so guess what? We got more battles coming at you. This week, the battle is the Italian restaurant chain, and I put Bertucci's and Mangiano's head-to-head, -head, and they're gonna battle it out for Italian chain restaurant dominance. I ordered the exact same meal at both of these restaurants. The same salad, the same appetizer, and the same entree. I'm gonna compare them and give you my truthful, honest opinion of what I thought of both of these restaurants. So we got Bertucci's in the first corner and Mangiano's in the second quarter. These two restaurants are gonna battle it out and we're gonna see which one comes out victorious. So I'm here at Bertucci's and we just ordered some appetizers and entrees, food. I haven't been to a Bertucci's in years, so let's see what we're gonna get. This bread at Bertucci's, I remember as a little kid, I used to go to Bertucci's when I was little and I used to get the dough, you know, you can make it with your hands and they put it in the oven and they give you the dough. This kind of wins for me on nostalgia. It comes out really toasty, crusty, and warm and very delicious. I have to just give this one to Bertucci's, but they just win on pure, tasty nostalgia for me. Hey, appetizer salad, Caesar salad, gotta go with the classic. Lettuce is definitely crispy. And also, it's not drowning in dressing, which I like. So the Caesar salad at Bertucci's is really good. I definitely recommend the Caesar salad here. And as I said, it had the right amount of Caesar dressing on there. It had a good mix of romaine, the crunchies, and the leafy. Parts. Make sure you order the Caesar salad. I thought it was really good here at Bertucci's. This is the flatbread here. Can't go to Bertucci's without getting a little bit of pizza because that's what they're known for, their brick oven pizza. I was really excited to eat this flatbread. As you can see, it went very fast. It was thin and I could tell it was actually pizza dough. Okay, this is very important. It's not like pita or some sort of pre-packaged I don't know what, but it was actually pizza dough. Really good. I am very, very impressed with this flatbread. Baked chicken gratinati. Say that five times fast. This is a chicken and some tortellini. It's tricolored tortellini. Let's go in for the taste. I'm about to go in for another bite. Gotta take a safety break. I just burned my tongue. Don't you hate when that happens, when you burn your tongue? That thing came out piping hot. It was bubbling at me. The cheese was a little bit plasticky towards the edges. The tricolor tortellini was a little bit overdone, but again, Bertucci's is really known for their brick oven pizza. Can't fault them too much for the pasta dish because that's not really their specialty. Okay, chicken parm. I thought it was really well done. The chicken cutlet could have been pounded a little bit thinner. I'm really a big advocate of the thin chicken cutlet. Better be like paper thin <laughs> for me on the chicken parm. Other than that, I thought the breading was nicely done. I think it's good ratio of cheese to sauce. The sauce wasn't too sweet. Get the thumbs up on the chicken parm for two cheese. Good job. I'm at Mangiano's and we're about to order dinner. See how everything turns out. Caesar salad taste test. Take one. I do taste a little bit of a like iceberg, which I'm not a huge fan of. And it's not smothered in dressing, which is also a plus, but loses points a little bit for the iceberg, I think. Okay, this Mangiano's Caesar salad was Dreadful. You know when you get those bagged salads and it kind of tastes a little bit like Salad Express? That's what it tasted like. It was a mix of horrible iceberg and not even a little bit of romaine. Uh, yes, I did find a little core of <laughs> the romaine, which is not supposed to be in a salad. You're supposed to toss that out. I thought the dressing was just okay. Croutons, horrible. Just put them in the trash. This salad was terrible. Mangiano's flatbread. Mm. Do 
very good. I really like the fresh tomato on top. It's very thin. Mangiano's flatbread was not pizza dough, okay? It was some other form of bread that was not pizza dough. Flatbread is supposed to be on pizza dough. Tomato basil ratio was not really ideal. I would have had a little bit more cheese on here if it was truly a margarita flatbread. Very disappointing. Would not recommend you getting this at Mangiano's. Here comes the chicken parm test. Nice and thin chicken cutlet. It's got a lot of sauce on it. <laughs> kind of crispy. Could use a little bit more cheese, a little bit more oregano, but it's pretty good. I'd say 5 out of 10. This chicken parm was okay. I, I just was like underwhelming. The portion size too, I thought, was not as large as Bertucci's. If you're going all out on a fat kid chicken parm date, you want to have the full size. Definitely could have used more cheese and not cheese that tasted like plastic. You gotta get that nice melt on the mozz there, so. Disappointing. I, again, I, I gotta give it to Bertucci's. There it is. There's the chicken parm truth. The spaghetti taste test. Here it is. It's actually pretty al dente. I'll give Mangiano's the al dente spaghetti. I do enjoy some Parmesan cheese on my spaghetti, so you can see I needed to I needed to doctor it up a little bit. Spaghetti's pretty al dente. Good job, Mangianos. And the winner is Bertucci. I thought that Bertucci's won this battle fair and square. All of the dishes that I tried in comparison to Mangiano's were incrementally better and I thought were a better value. Speaking of value, I know Mangiano's gives you the extra pasta to take home with you, so at the end of the day, you probably might come out ahead at Mangiano's because you're getting that extra meal to take home with you, which is great for leftovers when you don't feel like cooking. However, I think Bertucci's kicked Mangiano's ass when it came to flatbread Caesar salad chicken parm. And you watched the entire video, thank you so much. And if you wouldn't mind, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you'd like me to do another Italian restaurant battle, maybe Carabas versus Brio, let me know your thoughts. I really enjoy reading your comments and interacting with you. So there's really no me without you, especially in this. I'm like usually talking to myself and that's no fun. And subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I would appreciate your subscription. That would be great so that'll help me make even more tasty battles happen in the future. Thanks guys. See you later.